My amendment is pretty simple. If your city council wants to defund their police, don't expect the federal government to make up the difference. The American taxpayers in Alabama have to pick up the tab for local leaders in Oregon and Minnesota who value the woke defund the police movement over their own community safety. I call on my colleagues to support our law enforcement by voting yes for this amendment. Opposing my amendment is a vote in support of defunding the police and against the men and women in blue. The gentleman's time has expired. Madam President. Senator I, from New Jersey. I am so excited. This is perhaps the highlight of this long and painful and torturous night. This is a gift. If it wasn't complete abdication of Senate procedures and, and, and esteem, I would walk over there and hug my colleague from Alabama. And I will tell you right now, thank God, because there's some people who have said that they're members of this deliberative body that want to defund the police, to my horror. And now this senator has given us the gift that finally, once and for all, we can put to bed this scurrilous accusation that somebody in this great esteemed body would want to defund the police. So let all of us, 100 people, not walk, but sashay down there and vote for this amendment and put to rest the lies. And I am sure I will see no political ads attacking anybody here over defund the police. And I would ask unanimous consent to add something else to this obvious bill. Can we add also that every senator here wants to defund the police, believes in God, country, and apple pie? Thank you. The question is on the amendment. Ask for the yeas and nays. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Blunt. Mr. Booker. 